Hey guys, what is up? If you guys are new here to my channel, welcome. If you guys are OGs, welcome back. I love to see you guys. Um, thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Happy New Year. I am so happy. We are a fresh start. Like the past is the past, you know. I know, you know, we are not normal, normal yet. Let's just make the best of the year. I hope your guys' new resolutions and your goals come true. I love you guys. I know how I have some of mine and one being, you know, super consistent on my YouTube channel because we are growing and I'm so happy. Um, but yeah, so today's video is going to be on She Glam's new horoscope palette. Um, I am using the Sagittarius palette. It's the purple one. You guys already knew I was going to do this look. Um, you guys already know me. So for right off the bat, the palette, I just want to let you guys know right now, they were really good. Um, I only use this one, but I love She Glam's products. I love their foundation. It's only $9, and it's pretty bomb. Very pigmented. Um, but yeah, you guys, it's so pretty. I love, love, love it. I love the look really cute if you guys are not yet subscribed to my channel and want to be a part of the family then make sure you guys hit the subscribe button down below hit the bell to get notified every time i post and give your girl a like yeah without further ado if you guys want to see how i got this look then let's just keep on watching Hey besties, I'm back. All right, so I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be reviewing the new. Um, well, it's kind of, it's new, but I don't know if it's like super super new. Sheen was nice enough to send me over like some of their collection of um, zodiac signs palettes. They sent over five. I'm pretty bummed out that they didn't send me a Gemini one because the girl, your girl's a Gemini. So, so yeah. So, but they did send over Sagittarius. Leo, Pisces, Virgo, and Cancer. So this is what these look like. They're very stunning. They have like each Scorpio, um, each Scorpio <laughs> horoscope in the front. Very nice. They're very pretty. So you guys already know that every time I see like a purple, a pink, that's like my go-to like colors that I gravitate to towards. Um, this one is a Sagittarius one. It is the purple palette, and it looks really pretty. Um. I love it because it's purple and because my comadre, she's Sagittarius too. So I had to do one for her. So this is what it looks like. Just same as the packaging. The packaging is a cardboard packaging. It does not have a mirror, but that's okay because look at these colors. So freaking cute. And if you guys hear my voice, it sounds like, you know, a little raspy because I'm losing my voice. I don't know why. The holidays were pretty crazy for me. Um, I had a lot of family over and so I was I didn't have enough time to like do a lot of looks. But um, they also sent over um, eight pairs of lashes and I am freaking hyped for this one because they have butterflies. These these two pair has these two pairs have butterflies. I don't know if you could see it. Let me zoom you guys in. Very, very nice. So these are the eight pairs of lashes they sent over. So you, you already saw the Sagittarius one. If you keep if you see me keep going like this, this shirt, it's so annoying. Um, but I wanted to just, you know, it keeps going up and it's so freaking annoying. Let's go with the Virgo. So it looks like this is like the green palette. Very pretty. She looks so gorgeous. Look it. Super cute. So this is what it looks like. Very nice. I'm not a green type of gal, but this is very nice, like a forest green, gold. You know, it's really pretty. I didn't read what it said on here. Hold on. Okay, for the Sagittarius palette, it does say, because I'm going to read this one because I am going to use this one. So, an independent and wonderless dreamer like you wants to explore the world and learn everything that... Everything there is to know. This makes you one fascinating soul. Your compassionate presence always puts others at ease. You always want the best for your loved ones, even if that means not sugar sugarcoating the truth. This is my this is my comadre. This is her. <laughs> okay, that's cute. So you guys saw the green one. That was a Virgo one. Let's let's do the Pisces one. She's freaking cute. Look at that. Super cute. Um, and this one is very pretty. I love it. It's more like of like the aqua colors. Very cute. I feel like my, my camera's not picking up the right shades because I think I have too much lighting. But it is really pigmented. So they're the same as the box like that. 
let's do the Leo. Leo, Leo. I love Leos. Okay. So this is a love, Lively Leo palette. Um, she's really pretty. This one is like me in a palette. It has all the shades that I love. And I'm kind of sad. Like I really kind of want to do this color, this palette. But I, I want to do pops of colors, you know? Like I'm more of a color gal. And um, I want to do some more like colorful looks. So the last one that I have is Cancer. And she looks like this right here. I'll show you guys up close. But very pretty. Look at her. She's pretty. She's cute. Very like an everyday type of palette. You know, you know what I'm saying? So I am going to be doing the best of makeup 2021. And probably you're going to see that, that video first. But so we're going to be priming the eyes. And I am so excited. Girl, how was your guys' Christmas? I hope it was fun. Mine was pretty fun. I did have like all my family over. And um, let me prime this eye because this is the eye that I'm going to do. So yeah, I did have all my family over, guys. I am so, <laughs> so freaking tired. I feel like i just been cleaning every day, every day. And it was fun. It was worth it. It was really, really fun. I, I really enjoyed everybody's company. Um, but I am ready to grind. I'm ready to grind, freaking do my looks and stuff. Um, I've been missing you guys. And it was really hard. Um, my kids, they, they do let me do my work, you know, which is cool. But since I, have fa since I had family over, I didn't want to just be like, oh, let me go real quick. Let me do a video because it's not quick. It takes me about like four hours to film and stuff. Um, like to finish every my whole day or whatever when filming. Because I do like my TikToks, my reels, and then for YouTube. So it's a pretty long day for me. <laughs> so yeah, so I had fun. Um, your girl, she got a little tipsy, but... I ended up, we stayed up that night till 6 in the morning, okay, girl? And I fell asleep, like, around 3. I knocked down, everybody was still there, and then everybody was trying to wake me up, but I was freaking knocked out until after I, I did wake up, and then we stayed up till 6. And, girl, when I tell you I was dying, I was dying. So, yeah, I feel like I just, my sleep schedule has been crazy. And, um, yeah, I'm ready to go to sleep a little earlier. <laughs> I'm going to drink some coffee. You guys already know that I love Dutch Bros um, coffee, but I've been trying to stay away and trying to make my own coffee, which sucks because I love my soft top and I can't. There's no soft top. I don't have it. Um, I'm going to start with the darkest color first, and it is going to be the color Explore. Um, this one right here. But yeah, you guys, it was really fun. We, we actually bought like a karaoke. So we were litty, make you already know. And I just had fun. I really did have fun. I enjoyed everybody at my house. Um, especially my mother-in-law because, you know, she'd be cooking some bomb food. And she ended up making some pozole. Uh, I made some tamales with my comadre. And um, they made the next... Oh, what did they make? What else did they make? I forgot. I forgot. And ponche. I don't know if you guys like ponche, but a mi me gusta el ponche. And it's freaking good. It's really bomb. Okay, so I want to start, you know doing some looks in Spanish so I'm kind of going to be doing Spanish and English a little bit here um so ahorita with the she glam y es la se the sign the horoscope sign the Sagittarius no sé cómo decirlo en español pero ya tú sabes <laughs> y ese es el color que voy a usar que se llama explore aquí y voy a hacer un look que vas como extendiendo el color hasta acá como que te, como un wing so what i'm saying right here if you guys don't speak spanish is that i am just basically going to keep this shade down right here a little low and we're kind of going to diffuse it a little bit just a tad bit not adding any more product just to, you know just um blending it out oh my god i can't blend i can't even talk so um yeah so yeah, for Christmas it was fun, and um, the next day we made uh, ribs and mashed potatoes, and it was just all about eating, and I am ready to just not, <laughs> just again, to detox um, my body, and so, and New Year's we had fun too, my family came over, um, we did karaoke again, and <laughs> I'm obsessed with that karaoke, I think it's a JBL, the party box, it's, it's pretty big, pretty loud too. 
Um, ok, so ahorita eh, voy a poner este color que se llama... Let me see, I'm going to leave these brushes out. Tengo que encontrar mi brocha. Y esta brocha, o brush, brocha, es de Morphe Times Makeup by Ariel. A mí me encanta la colección de, 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 de las brochas que salió con... Makeup by Ariel, very bomb. I love Makeup by Ariel's brush uh, collection. The face brushes, the eye brushes, bomb. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Um, voy, estoy encontrando un broche que es mi favorito. Y es el broche de, de ¿cómo se llama? De Morphe también. A mí me encantan las broches, de, de, las broches, las broches, brushes de um, Morphe. Y este es el M5... 506, 506, ya, yeah. M5, no, 506, ya, yeah. pero me gusta también el 507 también, pero no lo puedo encontrar, um, ok, so I also do love um, the 506 brush by Morphe, but my favorite, favorite one has to be the 507 brush, I cannot live without that brush, it is freaking bomb, and I can't find it, but this is 507, and this is 506, So they're pretty much the same, just one is tapered and one is not more like fluffy. I like the tapered one just because it kind of fits right here into my eye ball, whatever. So boy, I got out este color que se llama Wonderlust. I'm going to be taking the color Wonderlust right here. If using the Explore Pay, the <laughs> Explorer color, I am so bad, guys. I am so bad. ¿Y qué más? ¿Qué hicieron para Navidad? Instagram has been really bad with, for me. So, if you guys are not yet following me on Instagram, please follow me. Share my page. Share my friend. Share my page with your friends, your besties, your mom, anybody that loves makeup. Share my page. Because I don't know what it is. I feel like alguien me está haciendo ojo o algo, pero back to you. I feel like, yeah, like I don't know what it is, pero, you know, I don't know. It is what it is, but I'm still going to keep doing my thing, you know. I'm not going to get discouraged of doing my Instagram because that's what I love to do. I love to do my makeup and to show you guys, like, my tips and tricks and what I do on my makeup. So, yeah. So, ain't nobody going to stop me, shoot. But, yeah. So, New Year's, so, me, I, I always drink beer or whatever. But I think I'm going to stop drinking beer because that shit gets you bloated and it's not cute. It's not cute. I'm just gonna stick to like maybe mixed drinks, which I don't like mixed drinks. But oh yeah. Um, así voy a tener mi mi ojo así. Nada más lo estoy difuminando, difunim, difunimando, blending. <laughs> Yo soy mala para mi español. Um, yeah. So, perdón por eso, pero ojalá que me puedas entender un poquito. Um, nada más poniendo el color, ese color, el segundo color que usé. Y así. Nada más con esta brocha que me encanta. Ok. Voy a ir como para atrás. Voy a usar los colores como otra vez hasta que me gusta el blend. Okay, so I am basically just blending everything out. So I know it looks messy right now, but don't worry because it's going to look good. And I'm going to wing it out once like I get to like the lighter colors. Um, I'm going to be taking the color Straight Shooter. And it does have a little kickback, but it's not as bad. So this is Straight Shooter. Este color voy a usar que se llama Straight Shooter. Es más clarito, más uh, morado, pero clarito. It's a little lighter. Okay. But yeah, you guys, I I hate doing talk through sometimes because I feel like I don't know what to say. Um, but yeah, basically, uh, for New Year's, I never freaking went to the strip, and I never like it's not my thing. Like I don't care to go to the strip for. Um, New Year's, I do live in Las Vegas, and I just feel like, I don't know, it's not my thing, it's really not my thing, and we went with my aunt, and it was okay, like, it was a good experience, you know, I wasn't able to take the kids, because it was so windy, if you guys live in Vegas, you guys know that this shit was windy this weekend, and it's been super cold, like, the coldest I ever 
freaking experience. I feel like it's too cold right now. I can't wait for summer. And I know I'm going to regret it because I live in Vegas and it gets so freaking hot. But I miss I miss summer. Um, summer, hurry up and get here because i rather be hot than cold because when cold is just it's just very uncomfortable like you're just like like and even if you bundle up like it's still cold like it's i don't know um i feel like you could actually cool off you know when it's hot and so yeah i'd rather be hot and drink a cold fucking glass of water with ice and go swimming and you know, stuff like that instead of freaking being cold. Because over here, it's not just cold. It is windy and cold at the same damn time. At the same damn time. Yes, it's too cold. And I'm just like over it. And I feel like we had winter very late here. Um, it started getting cold like beginning of December. And this weekend of uh, New Year's, I feel like it just hit. Like it, it's bitch, it's winter, you know? And is it wait, even winter yet? Or is it? Yeah, it's winter still. So I'm just like, I am, I'm a little over it. Like, I am not trying to be cold anymore. Like, it's not cute. And plus, like, you can't dress cute. You could, but I'm not like a fall type of girl, like, where I'm like, I know you could layer up and be cute, but I get freaking hot, like, too. Like, especially if we're in, I'm not outside, I'm gold. But if we're inside the house or somewhere, we're like going somewhere, and I'm like, <laughs> So we're getting like, okay, I need something. It needs to be cold. And then you go outside and you're like, okay, I'm better. I need to, I need to bundle up. You know what I mean? I'm weird. I'm weird. Um, but, girl, when I tell you, this is not it. It is it's not it. It's not it for me. Así tengo el ojo. Nada más voy a también usar otro broche um, para difunimar, difuni, difunimar, difunimar más. And let me just find that brush. I think this one, or is it this one's good? Hold on. If you want to know what brushes are bomb, Sigma brushes. Sigma, uh, they sent over like a brush set and it came in this little cute little bag. So cute. I know I could actually use it and it's pretty deep in here. Very nice. I love the quality as well. I'm obsessed. I'm going to try this one. This one is from Sigma. These brushes are very good quality, but let me tell you, when I tell you they're expensive, they are freaking expensive and you know I'm, I'm just i'm just thankful that sigma sent me this because like girl she she's expensive so this is a tapered blending brush this is the e35 brush and i am going to be taking the lighter purple the lighter purple which is oh i didn't even show you guys so este color puse el al último este que se llama humor yeah humor I like drinking some boba i love boba we went there's this nice cute like plaza and it has everything all the boba stuff it has sami somi 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 oh it's like um like thai tea soft served it has like taro taro's bomb as hell but it, it's too like empalagoso like el, 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 um, el boba a veces me gusta el taro pero um it's just like it's too sweet sometimes like but it's really really good i feel like it tastes like fruity pebbles and it's really good but i'm just like a thai tea type of girl and i like like the smoothie type it's blended right here there's a, a boba king that i love i love their stuff i love sorry that was my phone so lo voy a poner hasta las cejas. Right here. I'm thinking I want a different color. Like they kind of all look the same. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm taking the darkest color again. And plus, okay, so back to the strip. Okay, it's kind of hard because you have kids and then you want to gamble. You can't have kids where you go gamble. So, like, that's why I didn't take my kids. And it, it's just like, uh, but I went right home, like, right away. Um, right after they did the fireworks, I went home right away to be with my babies. And then we, you know, we still kept the party going on. And we did, like, go to sleep, like, at 5 in the morning again. I, I just, I've been, like, on my bad schedule. Like, today, I woke up at, at 12 p.m. No, 12 a.m. No, 12 p.m. 12 p.m. I woke up and that's not me. I wake up like at 6, 7, the latest. I never get to sleep in. But now that the kids are going back to school, it's kind of good because now my schedule is going to go back to normal. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty happy about that. I, I, like a palette, I wanted to have like a bunch of purples and pinks because that would have been cute. But it's okay. So we're going to blend that out. I'm going to see how it looks right now. <laughs> I'm a coffee girl now. Like I never used to be a coffee girl and 
when I tell you that I need coffee right now, like I need coffee more. Like I feel like it wasn't enough. Like it's 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 getting bad. And I don't drink decaf because I like um I need some energy. What I want to do is basically I want to cut the crease but not like super rounded. I'm going to cut it a different way. Like following my shape basically. But I am going above the crease. So you see what I'm doing? Aquí voy a estar cortar, voy a cortar mi crease con el primer que usé de P. Louise. So I'm using the P. Louise primer. Um, yeah. Super freaking good. I love this one. A mí me encanta este primer. Es lo mejor porque el, it's como, es el mejor que usé. Tengo el otro también que es de P. Louise, de Rumor uh, 4 compré, o 3. Pero a mí me encanta este para cortar el crease. So I love this one. I love the P. Louise primer. The um, Rumor, I think I have Rumor 4 or Rumor 3. One of those. But I feel like um, that's better when you to prime the eye instead of like cutting the crease. This is like a thicker consistency. And she's just really pretty. And really good. Just like magic. I'm so glad that the kids are going back to school, but I'm not. I like to keep my kids at home, even though they don't, you know, they be acting crazy. But I just like being with them. Like, is that weird? No, I like being with my kids. I'm going to take the color Wild and Free. Este color voy a usar que se llama Wild and Free. Aquí este. Está bien hermoso. Do you guys see that? She is freaking cute. I hope you guys can see it. So I'm going to go in with the lighter shade right here. Y después voy a usar este color que se llama Jupiter. This color Jupiter. I think I'm going to probably use pretty much the whole palette. You know what I mean? Because they're just pretty, the colors. Let's see how Jupiter looks. Oh, yeah, she's cute too. Hold on. Let me get my mirror because I cannot see. So this is mostly, this is like a darker purple. And then I'm going to take the other darker purple, which is called the Wrist Taker. It is a really, really, really cute. Like kind of like at the ball of the eye right here. Okay, that's what I'm going to do right here. Okay. And now I'm going to go back in with the color, um, the darkest color right here to just blend that out real quick. Um, and then I'm going to go in with the lighter. Voy a usar lo, los colores... Los mismos colores que usé primero, nada más para que tenga un perfecto blend. Like a good blend, you know? I'm just going to do that. It's so pretty. I love it. I love how it looks. Okay, so I'm going to use the lighter purple a little bit. What do you guys think of it? What do you guys think? She's cute. She's cute, right? She's cute. I'm debating if I should wear um, or put glitter on here. No sé si, si quiero poner brillo porque tienen un color de brillo como es un... Es a glitter que no, te, no necesita pegamento. Like, it's the glitter that you don't need, like, uh, let me see. Glue. She's freaking pretty. Should I? Should, should I? Let's see. Let's see. Let me, let me take some with my finger. Because when using these ones, I like... Using my fingers for that. Oh, yeah. Okay. That just sealed the deal right here. She is freaking cute. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She's freaking cute. I love it. We're going to keep going. It. I am going to be taking the color again, the first shade, which is wild and free. Just kind of to 
get another like to get it more pigmented right here but the shades are really pretty like they're super cute i'm obsessed and of course we're gonna do eyeliner i think i'm gonna do a wing okay i am i am i am gonna do a wing <laughs> I have to. I've been loving doing wings lately again. Like, I stopped doing them for a while. But I'm going to be taking the color or the black liner by Huda Beauty. It's a life liner, quick and easy. Guys, if you guys haven't used this one, you guys need it. I am obsessed with it. It's so easy to work with. Um, it's matte. I hate when they look shiny. To me, I don't know. I just don't like shiny eyeliners. But if you do, that's fine. To each their own. But me, I love it matte. And then you, there, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, right here. Super easy to work with. I, I don't think I've used something like this easy. So, so do you see how good this eyeliner is? It's super good, super easy to do uh, or work with. I have these new lashes that were sent to me before Christmas, and I'm so sad. I'm so sorry, girl. I did not use them before on Christmas, which I wanted to. But I was thinking, if I use them, I always use lashes that I don't really care about because... I end up messing them up because you know you get a little crazy <laughs> but these are from Nati Lashes they're freaking pretty like I'm so in love so obsessed with them they're very very pretty I think all of them look really really good I don't even know which one to use I don't know I think I want to use these ones these are really really pretty let me show you guys look at how cute she's cute She's cute. This is in the style hot girl. Hot girl. Very, very cute. I love my lashes like fluffy, spiky, but fluffy and wispy, if that makes sense. Um, they are wispier on like they're heavier, more on the end part. So you can still see the eyeshadow, but then it's like fluffy right here. Yeah. And I'm going to use my favorite glue. It's from Kiss and it is the avocado one. It has, no, it has aloe avocado i just saw green i'm like avocado no it's a kiss strip lash adhesive in clear with aloe um i used to love the duo one but girl like i always would lift like all the time like every time in the inner corner and i got tired of it like i'm so over it i'm obsessed with the exo uh eyelash glue i have the black one i don't i need to read up on it because she was she was it she was that girl you know because it just it dried so fast um and you just place it in and they did not budge like once they were on they were on and girl i'm obsessed with that um so yeah let's just do this now we are going to apply them so i like to just apply them right here they're not like all the way on but once they're in the middle then you just get the end parts and then you just glue them down and yeah um, I wait kind of till like it's almost like super super tacky and then once they're tacky they are not going to budge so ni te dije cual pestañas me iba a poner so me, me estoy poniendo estas pestañas de Nati Lashes y estas son de, se llaman Hot Girl we're going to use my favorite mascara at the moment it is the MAC Magic Inten Extension mascara and it's in extreme black no wonder I didn't even know I, I was like oh it's black but it's extreme black and it's bomb, you guys. I love it for my bottom lashes, like, for real. I have no lashes on the bottom, pretty much. But they make me feel like I have so much lashes and long, you know? And I'm obsessed. Okay. Just add a little bit. And she is on, you guys. She is really on. Um, I'm going to go finish the other eye off camera, and then we're going to be doing the base. And I'll be right back. Just kidding. We're going to do it right here, and I'm going to do the other eye off camera, like, once I do my base. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I just use the mini curler. I love it. I'm obsessed. It just blends in my lash, my real lashes with my falsies. So what we're going to do here, I am going to... Prime my face with the Dewy Set from ABH. It is my absolute favorite. It is just, like, a nice mist. Okay, so we're going to just do it to prep my skin because we want, the, I like, I am an oily person, but we also don't want to be dry. Yeah. Este mi favorito de ABH es una setting spray de, es para que te veas más como dewy. How do you say dewy? No es mate, es algo que te va a dar como este nice glow y me encanta. Ahorita voy a usar mi primer, mi favorito primer que se llama Milk Hydro y es algo que me va, te va a pegar 
con mi foundation y va a estar perfecto. Uh, primero no me encantó mucho porque no, no sabía usar el primer, no sabía cómo, y you no, know, era mi primera vez, primera vez usándolos, pero me encanta. So this is my favorite. At first I didn't really care much about it because I wasn't used to a primer. I wasn't used to a primer like this, but I am a hundred times obsessed. It is so good. I just like looking, like I like prepping my skin really good, like glowy, um, hydration. It's the same thing, right? <laughs> and what my problem area is not just like my skin, it's more so my pores, you know what I mean? That's where I'm like, Ugh, I hate it, but you know, the show must go, the show must go on. I voy a usar este primer que se llama uh, Pore Professional. Me encanta. Es uno de mis favoritos primers del mundo um it's one of my favorite primers you guys this is an og it is the professional from a from benefit i'm always like ah what is it okay so nice now it's nice and sticky ya está pegajoso y todo puedo usar como este amount así no sé si puedes ver pero me encanta va es para mi poros so we're just going to prime i'm going to push it in Estoy empujando aquí el producto en mi cara. Y this... This always fucking happens to me. Okay. That was a nightmare. Okay. Y voy a usar este. Primer así. Uso mucho. <laughs> Pero... It's not gonna get cakey. I use a lot and I put it on my nose. I need to get like something to extract my pores from my nose. Cause girl, it's a nightmare right now. When I work with glitter, I forget that I keep touching stuff and look at all this glitter. But I'm just gonna use like a spoolie to take it off. This is a nightmare. Okay, we'll start the foundation that we'll start today. Es el, es que mi favorito es el Frankie Rose, pero ya no tengo. Yo creo que tengo como un poquitititito. I only have a little bit of my found, favorite foundation and I don't want to use it. Because what if I go somewhere? So my next favorite foundation, it has to be the Dose of Colors. Um, this is Meet Your Hue Foundation. Very nice. It's in medium tan, 123. So it's this one right here. Que voy a usar este. My favorite brush right now at the moment has to be the Sigma Flat Kabuki 180, or F80, sorry, F80. Very good. It does not leave your face streaky or anything. I am obsessed with it. Um, Sigma sent it to me, so. Okay. And I got a comment the other day, or today, yeah, today. Oh, you wear too much makeup. Blah, blah, blah. And you know what? I had to block it. Because I don't need that negativity, and I do put a lot of foundation, like, but that's my preference, you know? And it shouldn't bother anybody. Like, if you don't do it like that, then that's cool. Like, I respect and that's it. But people just like to spit their venom on us. And I'm just like, we are not here to, to do that. And I didn't want to, I didn't want to, I'm not a mean person. Like, I don't want to, like, write back. Like something mean so i'm just like okay whatever i don't you won't have to see my face ever again girl don't worry you know that type of stuff because it's okay like if you don't like what i do it's okay i promise you that i'm not gonna get hurt <laughs> so we're gonna blend it down to our neck aquí hasta el cuello um so you guys can see it's kind of a little different you know i don't know but i love it i love this one I'll be right back. All right, besties, so I am back. So half my face is contoured and half my other face is not. I'm going to show you kind of like what I do. Um, I'm going to take my, let's see, let's see, let's use the, so I'm going to be taking my Makeup by Mario um, cream contour <laughs> stick. Um, I have the color dark. I wanted to get the medium, but they never have it. I'm so sad. So voy a usar este cream contour de Makeup by Mario. Me encanta. El color es uh, dark brown or dark. Pero yo quería el mediano, pero nunca lo tienen. So ah, un día, un día. So este color es bien like oscuro, pero lo vamos a difuminar el color um, así. Okay. So we're just gonna apply. 
where we need to apply. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna be taking my sponge. Um, the I have a brush, but you can use this brush. It's from Morphe. It's an E20 brush. Um, it looks like this, and you could just like go upwards a little bit. So I'm gonna use this one to just like blend that out real quick. It looks a little harsh, but she's okay. She's good. She's good. I'm just gonna take my beauty blender, and it is from Beauty Creations. This is my literally absolute favorite one i am going to be taking a little more just a little on the outer part or the upper part of my face just to give it that little snatchness or whatever um i don't i just i either contour first or concealer first it just doesn't it doesn't matter like it's not um, I don't know how to explain it, but, like, I don't really care. There's not, like, a right or wrong way. I know I get a lot of people, like, oh, you did this or that. How come? I do this way. But it's okay. Like, there's no wrong way. And I'm going to be taking my multi-use concealer in Chestnut by Too Faced. Um, this is more like a bronzy look. The other one is, like, more like a contour color. Um, you guys already know that I love, um, a bronzy moment. So, we're going to do that right here. Um, so, yeah, so we need concealer, okay, I'm going to be taking my fair concealer, you guys, these two concealers are heaven, um, this is kind of more, a little bit on the dry side, but very, very pigmented, and this is very hydrating and bomb, um, I am obsessed, I use a shade 10 on the ABH one, and we're just basically gonna, basically gonna just use it right here, and then give us like a, you know, snatched moment right here, um, I am going to be taking a cream, Blush, and this is from Jaclyn Hill. Um, this is the color Swoon, and I love it. It's just a little, little light moment right here. I'm gonna take one of the brushes right here from Makeup by Mario. It's a perfect brush for, um, basically for like cream stuff, you know, like something to just blend out really nicely. And that is that. So we have that right there. Um, I'm gonna be using this side too concealer oh yeah i forgot i'm gonna use a little bit of this one too este color es en el color mediano y el otro era 10 in the abh este color es casi igual pero un poquito más um claro más light so they're both pretty much in the same family category the color um but um i don't know the i think the one from Urban Decay, oh no, from Tarte is more like on the lighter side, just a little bit. And yeah. So we are going to just take my contour shape part, not taking any more color, and just blending that out nicely. Um, and that is that. So. They increase your, your under eyes increase every time if you have lines. That's why you have to um, powder right away. Like, that's what I think. Because if not, you're just going to have all these lines. But pretty much this is it. This is how I do it. I am going to put a little bit of concealer just at the part right here. And I'm going to take my foundation brush to kind of cut it. You see? And then kind of blend that out. I know it's going to look really crazy before it looks kind of good. So what I like to do, I'm going to be taking my brush from Sigma. Very bomb. And I am going to be taking my Charlotte Tilbury. Este, este polvo de Charlotte Tilbury es lo mejor. Es mi favorito. Y es en el color 2, mediano. So make sure your lines are blended out nicely. And you're just going to set that right here. And then we have a set. I have to set this little pimp over this little guy right here. A little bit right here. Just go. Okay, I'll be right back with the powder stuff. Vamos a usar el polvo de uh, Dragon Beauty. Okay. So I'm going to be using the powder, the Invisible Powder by Dragon Beauty, you guys. It is pretty good. Um, I did not like the pink one because when I bought it, it came in a bundle. And with for me, the pink one, um, it looked so muddy on me. I don't know why, but I hated it. 
the ban the banana one like the yeah i think that it's a banana one i do actually like it it's really good um but yeah it was so weird like i applied the pink one and i was like oh, okay yeah girl not cute not not cute on me you know what i mean i don't know if it's just because of my skin skin tone or what but it was just not happening for me i don't know um i saw it on other people and it looked really good like i liked it but with me girl mm -mm. not having it let's use a different bronzer okay let's use the jacqueline hill um this one's her bronzer duo um it's stay rosy and yummy toffee kind of like one of my favorite ones super nice it looks like this really pretty i'm going to take the um bronzer side and i'm just going to tap and then blend because we did cream contour remember so you don't want to move the product over you know so this is what we have right here i'm going to apply a little bit on this side so este polvo de este bronzer is the jaclyn hill y es el yummy toffee porque usamos um, productos de crema. So, no quiero que el bronzer se mueva o como que se haga bien feo. You know that little meme or whatever the guy that was like, oh, all I heard was, pa, pa, pa. Estás allí y tu home. You know, I feel like I'm talking like that. I hate it. Oh, my God. I can't with myself right now. I'll apply my dewy set. Oh, no, no, no. Let's apply, um, let's apply some blush. What blush was I going to do? Because we are doing the favorites blush stuff, I am going to be taking the blush palette from the Patrick Ta um, blush palette. And she's a beauty. She's gorgeous, you guys. So pretty. I'm going to use this palette from Patrick Ta. And it's the blush. And it's very beautiful. This color is very, very strong. And it's beautiful, but... Ahorita voy a usar mi polvo para que no esté así tan pigmented. So I'm going to use this. And it is pigmented, girl. She's pigmented. Pretty pigmented. Really pigmented. Y voy a ponerlo aquí en mi nariz. Just a tip of the nose. I don't know why, but I just love, love, love that. We are going to a nose contour. Just a little tad bit. Um, I'm using the Hoola bronzer and this, this bomb brush from Morphe. It's the E62 brush. And I just love, love, love it. It's like fluffy. Like it's not like crazy. Your product's going to be where you apply it. I love this. I don't know if this is like the Elite collection. I don't know. I don't keep up with the collections and stuff. But I just know that it's pretty bomb. I just do these two little lines. Pretty much that is it. And then we are going to cut the nose contour like this if you hear noise my daughter is like making a lot of noise and she's driving me crazy okay where's that brush oh okay so I, i'm just gonna leave right there i don't keep it that long because i don't like to um what does it say what i was gonna say i don't like to keep it on there because then it just looks cakey and bad for me like drying you know what i mean so i don't do that okay so just quickly like apply it and then dust it off. But today we're going to be using the Sigma one. They sent over this palette right here. It is the Glow Kissed palette. She is very luxury looking, luxurious looking, and I am obsessed. I don't know what color to use. I think I'm going to use a golden one, the Golden Hour. Ooh. So we are going to be using this other brush from... Uh, makeup by Mario and Morphe. You guys already know she's my favorite. I'm taking that same color and we are going to add it a little. I love highlighter. Um, I don't know. I just feel like it gives it the natural glow. Like you have to find your highlighter or else it's just going to look all nasty. Um, I know that for me, I can't use like lighter ones because it just, it looks crazy for, for me, you know. I'm going to apply my Charlotte Tilbury spray. Mi favorito. Te va, tu, tu maquillaje se va a quedar todo el día hasta mañana. <laughs> Pero sí, es, es mi favorito. Y cuando te, te pones la máscara, no, no, no te va a quitar el maquillaje. Eso es mi favorito. Um, my favorite is so good for when we wear a mask. Unfortunately, we still do. But it's just so good. And I literally drenched my face. Like, I drenched my face big time. I don't even know what time it is right now. 
but my makeup is going to stay on for a long time and i love it it just like melts everything together but i'm going to be back with my finish so um the lip combo is the uh what is it the kkw the new two um you guys can't get it right now because she is rebranding but it's my favorite and i put a little bit of trendsetter from morphe just like on the outer parts like the bottom part right here and then the lipstick that i used was uh jaclyn hill gratitude and a little bit of nakey nakey by La laura los angeles laura lee los angeles one of my favorites i have two um this is a brand new one so i had to get this one but I like this kind of because it's kind of a little dried. It's an older one. It's a little drier now. So I don't know why I like this one better. It's weird. But they're both the same color. Nakey, nakey. It's really like a new nude. And I love it. So that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys like our little talk through. Um, I know it kind of was all over the place. But um, I'm going to be doing more of those better. Because I feel like I don't talk that much. I just do voiceovers. It's just about the eyeshadow and stuff. Like that. But we need to talk. We need to talk. So um, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys like it. Um, the palette itself was very, very pretty. I did not have any trouble with the um, the eyeshadow palette. The colors were amazing, very, very pigmented. I love them. So, yeah, I really love how this look came out. Um, I love the lashes, everything. I hope you guys like it. Um, if you guys do recreate it, make sure you guys tag me so I could repost you guys, and I'd love to see it. So, yeah, um, this is all I have for you guys today. I love you guys so much, and I hope you guys have a fresh new start. We are 2022 now. Um, I know things are still kind of not normal, but let's let's just let's embrace everything and let's just have fun and live to the fullest. And I hope all your goals uh, of 2022 come to life. I love you guys very much, and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye, guys.